All right, all right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, as always, I'm gonna start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shavuot or Chakadash, which Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shaz from the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, it's his true name. And Rachak Wadash, that's the Holy Spirit. And I'm also going to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing this word in all truth and in all sincerity. And, um, you know, and we are the uh, Hebrew Israelites, which you Israelites, you know, consist of you so called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. And also, those uh, Israelites whose uh, seed line goes back to one of the 12 tribes, all right, who goes back to one of, uh, basically to uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, okay, which we know Jacob had 12 sons. If your seed line goes back, you know, to those people, um, you know, you're an Israelite. doesn't matter how you look, and that's basically what this lesson is uh, based on, okay? And um, I'm going to use this example right here that you see on screen, okay? You have... Um, this guy right here this is a, a pro skateboarder you know he's uh, from San Diego and uh, you know he might be a Judite you know uh, a so-called black man basically you know um, and uh, you know he's got you know his woman and his two kids okay and as you can see his woman she uh, appears to be an Edomite I'm not sure if she is or not okay but you know Edomites are so-called white people all right and like I said, we're using this as an example. And, um, you know, let's just say she is an Edomite, okay? Point being is, you look at his two daughters, right? You know, his you got his one daughter right here. And she looks more like a... Uh, <laughs> it's crazy. She actually looks like a, a so-called Native American, okay? She looks like a, a, a Gadite, okay? But look at his one daughter right here, all right? A lot of people would say this is just a white girl. You know, or, or, you know, as, you know, people in the truth would say that she looks like an Edomite. You know, that's, they would actually, before they would get to, you know, know her, test out her spirit. They would say that immediately that she's an Edomite just because of her appearance, because, you know, she's got colored eyes. You know, she's, you know, super light skin. You know, she's probably got a more straight hair. Looks like it's like even like, you know, blonde, brownish. Okay. Her hair color. So they would just immediately say that she's an Edomite. And you see, that's why brothers, you gotta remain spiritual and you gotta test the spirits because you don't know who's an Israelite or not. Because we have our people mingled amongst all nations, okay? You have, you know, Jake, they, they, they look like Edomites. You have Jake that look, uh, they look like Moabites, Ammonites, you know, Ishmaelites, so on and so forth. But they are, are really Israelites, okay? So that's why, as the scriptures say here, let's start off with this one right here in John 7 and 24. And it reads, judge not according to appearance, but judge righteous judgment. You see, that's the main thing. You're not supposed to judge according to appearance because you don't know who's who. You know, you don't know where there's, uh, um, you know, who their people are, you know, where they're from. OK, their seed line, basically. OK, that's why you have to judge. Uh, what does it say there? Judge righteous judgment. You know, okay, because look, you have certain um, heathens that actually look like our people, and they're called tares. All right, in the scriptures, all right, you have Edomites that look as dark as you know Wesley Snipes, man. Okay, you have Moabites and Ishmaelites and all of them that look they, they look like you know our people, man. Like I said, they look like Wesley Snipes. All right. Oh, I'll say this: I actually have a, a quick testimony. There was this kid. In my high school and he was supposed to be a you know it's but through the spirit you know as i look at it now you know being in this truth you know and thinking about that you know that particular person he was supposed to be it's but i believe he was an ishmaelite and uh what was funny is he had like a, a wild like spirit on him like like how the like as the scriptures describe ishmael you know uh he, he never really fit in with any of the you know uh uh Never fit in with Jake, really. And, he, and the funny thing is, he uh, he was a merchant. His parents were merchants. They owned a corner store, you know? And we know Ishmael's known for that. And that's even in the scriptures as well. You know how Ishmael's a merchant, okay? But point being, though, is 
you have the, even the heathen uh, mingled among, amongst us and you know they look like us and vice versa we have our people mingled amongst the heathen that's why you're supposed to try the spirits okay and i want to get this this is uh first john 4 and 1 and it reads beloved believe not every spirit but try the spirits whether they are of the most high okay so that's what we're supposed to do we're supposed to try the spirits okay we're supposed to try the spirits all right and how do you do that there's two scriptures, all right? I'm going to get out. Let's get Isaiah 8 and 20 real quick. And then we're going to um, hop to Romans, the, uh, what is it, the 16th chapter. This is uh, Isaiah 8 and 20, and it reads, To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Okay? So that's the main thing. You have to uh, bring out scriptures. Feel their spirit out. All right? Because look, as um, the book of Daniel says, I believe, I think it's um, I think it's Daniel, the, the 12th chapter. Let me check this out. Because it says the wicked shall never learn something under those lines. All right, give me one moment to find it. All right. Could have sworn it was the 12th chapter. Here we go. This is... Uh, Daniel chapter 12, verse 10. Many shall be purified and made white and tried. Okay, and that's, you know, going into the elect, you know, which the elect, all right, consists of Israelites, all right, the tribes. And it says, but the wicked shall do wickedly and none of the wicked shall understand. You see, none of the wicked is going to understand. No matter how uh, hard they try, all right, to grasp this knowledge, they're not um, able to receive it. You know, the Lord has, like, basically a, a spiritual block on them, you know? All right. Hey, the Lord's got a spiritual block on two-thirds of our own people, okay? So how much more are heathen? They're not going to understand this word. It's not meant for them. Because basically, this knowledge was only given to the Israelites. This is our portion. This is our heritage, okay? This is a blessing from the Heavenly Father, okay? And it reads, but the wise shall understand, and the wise... You know, like I said, that's, you know, the elect, right? Pretty much, you know, the, the 144,000, you know, because really those are the ones who um, have the true understanding of the of these scriptures, okay? You know, Amos 3 and 7, all right? The Lord revealed his secrets unto his servants, the prophets, all right? Because even uh, the rest of the one-third, they're more or less, you know, believers. They, they may, you know, be able to, you know, uh, uh, pull out a scripture here or there, but... They don't, you know, they're not the real teachers, you know. All right, but that's, you know, another lesson within itself. But um, from there, let me get uh, Romans, all right, was that 8 and 16. And then we'll hop back into that Isaiah. This is Romans 8 and 16, okay. And it says here, it says uh, Romans 8 and 16. The Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. Okay? You see that? It says the Spirit itself uh, beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. And so what, what is the Spirit, though? Let's get that. Let's get that real quick. You know? What is that? John? John 6 and 63? This is the Spirit, okay? We're going to get it real quick. John 6 and 63, and it reads, It is the spirit that quickeneth, meaning it maketh you alive. The flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Okay, so that's the spirit, this word. All right? So, if you're, um, you know, speaking this truth, okay? You know, you're speaking the words that are written in the Bible. If the person is really an Israelite, they're going to connect with it. Because that's one thing about Israelites. I'll even say this. Um, no, the elect is, the, they're the only ones that are going to really, you know, understand this word, you know, uh, uh, in its entirety. Okay. But I'll say this, even two thirds, they have, uh, as the scriptures say, they have a zeal, but not according to knowledge. They, they have a, a, um, an attachment to the most high. Okay. Israelites just naturally have that, you know, they can't help themselves. It's because they're, they're the Lord's people. You know, so they're going to, um, you know, there's going to be something in their, 
and their spirit that's gonna, you know, uh, 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 that's gonna connect with this, okay? You see? The point being though is, you know, um, you know, at the end of it, at the end of the day, you know, Israelites are gonna look like, you know, the, uh, these other uh, nations, okay? All right? And that's because according to the curses, you know, we were um, scattered amongst all nations. That's uh, uh, Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, or uh, I think the 64th verse, okay? And what's gonna happen? You know, if, if um, an Israelite man is amongst these, you know, uh, other nations, at some point he's gonna, you know, uh, uh, take one of these women, you know, um, and, and make them uh, uh, his wife, okay? You know? They're just gonna, you know, uh, you know, get, get with the other, you know, the other nations. All right? You see? But that's, uh, that's pretty much it though, you know? I just wanted to use this as an example. You know, gotta push that vibration out there. That not all Israelites are gonna look, the, you know, the same. All right? You're gonna have Israelites looking like the other, um, the other nations out there. Okay, so that's why we have to remain spiritual. That's why you can't just immediately uh, uh, curse somebody out, okay? When they come up, you know, to, to, you know, to the camps, okay? Saying, oh yeah, you're, you know, you're Edomite or you're a Moabite, whatever, you know, this and that. You can't be doing that. You know, if they come up, they ask a question or two, hey, you, you talk to them, you know? Feel them out. Because look, at some point, you're gonna have a, you know, a great influx come in you know, of all the tribes, and I'm saying, when I say all the tribes, I'm saying like, you know, even the, you know, Israelites that, you know, look like the typical Israelite. I'll say this with that great influx, you're going to have, um, basically, uh, a lot of, uh, uh, um, you know, speckled birds, you're going to, as the scriptures call them, you know, you're going to have a lot of Israelites look like the, the other nations come in, and that's what's really going to uh, trip people out, okay? And I'm even saying people that are in this, you know, in the truth, you know, that's going to really, you know, throw them off. Okay, hey, because a lot of I'll say this, a lot of um, a lot of our, uh, a lot of people, you know, I'll say I'll just put it like this: a lot of people that are, you know, that they say that they're in the truth, they're not spiritual at all. A lot of them are still basing things on, you know, the carnal appearance, and you, you know, you can't be doing that. See, that's that's not on point. You know, we read that that uh that book of John. Okay, you cannot you know judge on appearance. You have to judge righteous judgment, okay? You know? That's, uh, that's pretty much it. You know, I'm, uh, pretty much gonna end this, you know, lesson. Uh, I just wanted to, uh, you know, show you, uh, uh, you know, you brothers and sisters out there, you know, that there's gonna be Israelites that look like this, okay? And, you know, it, it's just, you know, like I said, it's, a, a, you know, another example. All right. And with that, you know, I'm going to give all praises, honor, glory. How about Shemal Shai? Also, double honors to the apostles and elders of the great middle. So, salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom.